everyone, it's Miss Melissa, and today we're going to be making our very own obstacle course with things that you can find around your house. So, you'll see the video of us going through it, but we're going to tell you what we use to make each obstacle. The first one, we used bases. Now, we're jumping back and forth on these, so if you don't have bases, you could use pieces of cardboard or newspaper, just something flat that you can jump on. Our next obstacle, we used croquet mallets. And we just use these to create kind of a ladder effect. So if you don't have croquet mallets, you could use any sort of stick that you can find. So we're just hopping through them like this. The next obstacle we used are buckets. Now, we had two options for the buckets. You could either run through them or jump on top of them. If you don't have buckets, you could use milk jugs or water bottles in place. Next we have a bat, a ball, and a tee. So this we just use to hit the ball. And if you don't have the tee, you could just throw the ball up and hit it yourself. Probably the most fun obstacle we have are these pool noodles to run through. So to set them up, we put them in a cup and then we held them down with croquet steaks. And then the next obstacle we have is a stool. And we just did kind of a ninja jump over this. Um, if you don't have a stool, you could use like a cardboard box or something taller that's about knee height. And then the next obstacle we have are lawn darts. Now you probably won't have these just laying around. So as long as you have maybe a hula hoop or you could even use a string to create a circle. And then you can use pretty much anything to throw in. So you could use something small like clothespins, something a little bigger like pens and pencils, or you could use sticks again or rocks here. Our next obstacle is a balance beam. We used a plank of wood and then two pots. If you don't have these, you can pretty much use anything that's a straight line that you can balance on. And then our last few obstacles, again, they're a balance beam, so just showing something else that you could use um, that's pretty straight and flat. And then our final thing was just this piece of wood to say, this is the end, so you can use pretty much anything flat or anything that you can stand on. Now let's do the obstacle course. Meet the Akron Area YMCA Catch Team. Hey everybody, Miss Jenna here. I have been teaching and working with kids for almost 30 years. Yes, 30. I grew up in Cleveland and I studied acting, directing, and psychology in college. I love teaching kids, doing yoga, directing plays, and performing in musicals. I listen to all kinds of music and I love totally rocking out when I'm in the car. My favorite animal is a koala bear because they're so cute and my favorite color is neon pink. When I'm not working with the awesome kids at the Y, I like practicing my ukulele and playing with my dog Buddy who really likes to eat socks. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Melissa. I'm a student at the University of Akron and I'm studying nutrition so I can help kids like you stay healthy throughout your lives. My favorite color is pink. In my free time, I like to go on hikes, listen to pop and country music, or try new recipes in the kitchen. My favorite vegetable is carrots. I have a pet fish named Agatha and I would love to adopt a dog. One fun thing I like to do during the summer is go to a beach. I can't wait to learn with you this summer. Hi, I'm Mr. Dylan, a student at the University of Akron. I'm also the producer of a show on ZTV, the university's own television station. I'm learning about media and marketing in college and hope to one day be able to work in the movie industry. I live in Cuyahoga Falls and I love to play Ultimate Frisbee. My favorite color is green, and I like watching movies and TV shows in my spare time. I'm also a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs>